Addison is dropping the role? No way. No way. I refuse to believe that. Make some noise! What do you think of Deathstroke in the Matt Reeves verse? I think that I think that could work. I actually think that could work. I think on some the fact that they kind of established like the whole black market underground like you know i think that they do a good job of that you said you heard patterson is dropping the role no way no way i refuse to believe that robert patterson is gonna i'll be i would be really surprised actually he legit was talking about how it was one of the hardest things he's ever done in his life he's like man this was mad hard yeah exact people like yo i don't i i fact that we don't see bruce like what the fuck like people was really there was a lot of people who were not like okay with like Batman being clumsy and falling. I'm like, bro, it's year two Batman. I'm like, he didn't come out the fucking womb being trained by ninjas, bro. Like y'all think think he just legit always was ready? These are the same people that didn't realize it was year two Batman, bro. Infamously, I I would be literally taken aback if my man took the, like if he removed himself from this role, I would be tight. He can't be a good Bruce Wayne yet. He can't be. He's still just a kid. You hear me infamously? Bro, the movie is so good. I'm telling you right now. It's people are used. To, I, so, and this is one of the things, right? People are so, it, 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 first off, you have to remember, I'm somebody who I've seen pro everything Batman that you can see in the theaters outside of Batman Begins. I've seen it all, right? And I feel that this is the quintessential Batman film. Like, I felt like this movie should have been made before any other Batman movie. Maybe not the Adam West, you know, movie, but, like, before 1989 Batman, you literally could, this movie would fit there, I feel like. Because it still has that future enough feel to it to where it's like, damn, Batman on some high tech shit. And it's still gritty enough. Like, you're legit, to me, You might he might have made a timeless Batman film. This, I feel like, personally, this might be a timeless Batman film. Like, actually timeless. Like, I actually think he made a timeless Batman film. Like, just where it's paced, where you can put it. That perfect noir feel, but it still has, like, kind of that future tech. But it's not so far, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, like, damn, I didn't even get their, I didn't even get their grades on the movie, though. I'm kind of sad about that. But we're pretty, I'm pretty sure we're all in agreement. It's, a, it's like a, it's an A-tier movie. Yeah, like, there are people, and what I was going to say, Indian Curry Spice, was that there are a lot of people who were introduced to Batman from the films alone, right? That might have come from only watching the Nolan films. That might have come from only watching, you know, the, the Joel Schumacher films and some shit, right? And I feel like sometimes it's, they're more a fan of, like, the Batman, the movie Batman, the cinematic Batman, and they might not know as much about the character. So it's very much harder for them to take in movies like this where they're just like man nobody care about all these extra relationships where you know it's a whole world balanced around like this world was so well put together like once again it, the infrastructure you know the the social infrastructure that was on display here it was literally like an introduction to gotham it was like you're watching a fucking intro video if they made you move to gotham they would be like hey man welcome to gotham watch this movie you know they're like, oh, this is a documentary. I mean, it's a film, but it's more of a documentary. He's like, so it's really a Batman here? Oh, yes, it's really a Batman here. And yes, people are crazy. I got jumped by clowns the other day. This eye, not even real. I got stabbed there. Yeah, by the clown. Yeah, it's real, man. Gotham is a fucking serious. You know, it's, <laughs> I feel like that's what happened. He said, I'm just praying they do League of Assassins because that'd be fire, given that the Batman and evil father figure and great development. You know, I, I think the thing is, is that like, Batman, you can kind of wrap all of that around, right? You, you can wrap the characters around, especially I feel like somebody like Matt Reeves could. Like, I feel like any character he is willing to give us in the world of Batman, I will gladly take that. Yo, the rent is cheap in Gotham, though. Look, this is the question that I pose to everybody, right? And I want to I wanna make sure, I want to make sure that you guys understand this, okay? I'm going to save it for the end. When I'm completely done, this is the last question I'm going to ask. And when I make this a YouTube video, this will be perfect to save towards the end. So we're going to come back to this. But um, Matt Reeves' Batman is uh, amazing. It's an amazing movie. Um, one of the things that I like to say comparatively when we talk about Batman films is um, that the Nolan films are great movies or amazing movies even if you apply, you know, The Dark Knight. But they're only good Batman films. They're only good Batman films.
if if you ask me, this is how I feel. I feel like they're great films. They're great superhero films about Batman. Because it's Nolan, his pedigree, it's crazy. Top class, top tier, director, visionary, the whole nine. But it's only a great Batman movie. I feel like, and this is my personal opinion, that the Batman is an amazing Batman movie. And a great film. That's my personal take on it. That's my personal take on it. Um, and I know a lot of people won't agree with me on that. Because personally, I think it's the best Batman film now ever made. But, and this is with me seeing all the things that I've seen, putting it together. The things that I've read being, you know, a Batman comic book fan as well. This movie is the quintessential Batman film. The first 15 minutes of the movie with the timestamp cue gave me the long Halloween comic vibe. Free. The rent cheap in Gotham, though. Mm. I love the way you say that. The rent's cheap in Gotham, though. I don't know if y'all are willing to go through this anguish, though. I don't think y'all are willing to have to deal with what Batman deals with. My man's rich, and look how his life has turned out. My man couldn't ask for anything else except for, you know, maybe his parents back. But look at how his life turned out. Whole life change, bro. Nolan characters are all surface level. The Batman already has more character than the whole trilogy. That's facts. That is 100% facts. Like, once again, I don't think there's been a, a better world building movie for Batman than Matt Reeves' Batman. That's that's the thing with this. Suffering from success, DJ Cal. <laughs> this is the cover to the Batman. The Batman single. Harmont, bro. Yeah, it's... There's so many, man, there's so many cool characters. But no, um, and I know a lot of people will probably not agree with that, right? Like, I don't know how many people are going to agree with that take, but personally, I just feel like you can't really get a better Batman film than what we got right here. I would, I'm, I really hope, I really hope that Matt Reeves, I hope every person that worked on this movie returns and if there are additions that they just make this movie better or whatever comes after this movie damn it i actually forgot to ask questions um and what's happening from this is that there's two series that is actually coming from apparently from this universe and that's going to be on hbo they had an arkham series that was originally supposed to be a gotham series they were going to uh, make a new gotham series starring jeffrey wright but that now has transformed into an arkham series more of like a horror story kind of pickup thing which i'm still interested in i'm 100 percent still gonna watch it but I really wanted to see that Gotham series because I was not a fan of what they did with Gotham originally. I saw what they tried to do. I love a lot of the cast, but ultimately I was not a fan. This one had a lot more promise because I felt like it was on HBO and coming off of what we got from Peacemaker, that shit would have been mad good. Um, but it's okay. And I think it was one more that was said. Oh, it was a Penguin series. There's also a Penguin series coming to HBO now because of... Um, what did I was about to say, Will uh, Colin Farrell, and it's not Colin Farrell. Um, what's his name? Oh my God, I always forget because I just want to call him the Penguin now. But the Penguin is getting his own standalone series on HBO as well. So if anything is indicative of how well this movie was received, what was you know the take on it in a lot of instances, just know that like two series, two HBO series is coming down the line that will be in the same universe. Stun Gun says, I think the Nolan movies are the fantasy, the legend people tell about Batman, and the new Batman movie is reality. That's facts. That's 100% facts. Like, you, you'd have to deal with some of this shit. Like, this, this is not an easy world to live in, right? We never get this kind of Bruce Wayne. No one's ever told us the story about this kind of Bruce Wayne. Like, they never show us Bruce Wayne recovering from the fact that his parents got killed and he lives in this crazy ass world They just show you the end result. I used all my money and now I'm a superhero like this is not that's not this kind of movie This movie ended with a failure and ended with like heartbreak, right? And the city is still destroyed like you still have like th these jokers uh, running around the city as well they still have to, like, patrol the streets at night. You still have cops that are corrupt because of Falcone, you know? Like, I'm very much concerned about this world. Even more so than a lot of the other characters. Like, even though, like, the act... First off, the supporting cast is ridiculous. 
and they all did an amazing job. But like that's why I want them all to return. That's why I want them all to come back. And damn that Batmobile scene. That Batmobile scene was so ridiculous. It was so good. You see how the Batmobile is a character is posing in the photo with Batman after it blew some shit up. It was like it, it's like the car saying, "Yeah, yeah, that's me, motherfucker." The Batmobile in the background. <laughs> no, it was perfect, man. That Nirvana hitting at the beginning of the movie. I'm such a fan of this Batman. I am such a fan of this Batman. Because it was so good. So not only do you get like, hopefully we get another Batman film set in this world, right? Where we get to see the sick ass Batmobile again. And we get to see Robert Pattinson Batman like interact with all these characters, right? I want to, right? Um, But that's, you know, we don't know yet. We don't know if we're ever going to get that. We don't know if it's ever going to come down the line. Uh, but I will say I did love this movie. Uh, easily a 9 out of 10. My the point five is my bias and I'm choosing to leave it out. Point five would be my bias and I'm leaving it out of what I'm giving this movie. It is a nine out of ten movie free. I can't wait to watch it again. I really hope that Robert Pattinson comes back and works on anything involved with this film as long as the script and the producer is great. I want to see more of this shit. and I hope you guys want to see more of it too. Um and just let me know, man, what you guys think about the film overall. I would love to hear it. As you guys can see, I love talking about it. And we will be back with more media kind of comic book talks, movies on Friday when the boys will be back. So.